<coughs> Since this video will probably be pulled off, because I'll blame it said at the end, well, blame it a video that no one ever saw. For Benghazi, said, uh, that must be no feature for those I'm slender the puppet of Islam. I'm going to be uh, focusing my attention more on this one here. Yeah. Okay. I'm jumping in on something because <laughs> the other one didn't ha catch, so it was like 15, uh, 15 minutes of my life or nothing. So I've got to use this camera more. It'll become my own property where this becomes YouTube's, and it's usually pulled off. I'm, it probably will be pulled off. This one will probably be pulled off too, but at least I'll still have it in my computer somewhere, or CD or something like that. Okay. By the way, when I uh, read this, I'll be using this side of my face for when I'm reading the Muslims' words, and this side when I'm using mine. Okay. Is this recording? I'll check here. I bet it's recording now. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let me tell you something, please. Okay. In that quote which you mentioned, Allah asked our Prophet to piss upon him to read the scriptures. You mean Quran 1094? Read scriptures you feel are corrupted? If so, how come? And I will never ever read the Bible because my beloved Prophet has said that we should not read the scriptures of Allah before the Quran. Really? Where in the Quran or Hadith does it say to not read those scriptures of Allah? That was for a reason, and I know that reason very well. If you're right, well, where are those scriptures? Where are the scriptures in the Quran or, or sayings in Hadith that have Muhammad telling you to not read those scriptures of Allah? If you can find them, doesn't Quran 1094? contradict them. And I made proof of every statement you make. Okay, but again, where in the Quran or Hadith does Muhammad tell you to not read those other scriptures of Allah, which if you, which if so, seems to contradict the meaning of Quran 1094? Where are they? Okay. Listen, I 100% believe the quote of Quran 1094. How? If you believe only the Quran is not corrupted. How do you get what uh, you do not get what I said? <coughs> if not, if not, if not, uh, then explain how you can believe Quran 1094 like you claim, while you also believe only the Quran is not corrupted. Allah asked that our prophet peace be upon him. Uh, to read the scriptures at that time, at that time, in Muhammad's time. So the Bible was not corrupted before the time of Muhammad, true? Really? Is that what you're saying? If you are, well, since the meaning of the Dead Sea Scrolls matches the meaning of the Torah and Psalms in the Old Testament of my, of, my, of my modern Bible, what does that mean to you? Take a guess, please. But later on, a prophet prohibited us from reading them because we don't need to read the real, the real Bible because we have got everything in Quran, which tells you in Quran 1094 to come to me for my reading, not reciting, but my reading of the before scriptures. Where is, where is there a scripture in the clear signs Quran to contradict Quran 1094? So you don't have to come to me for my reading the before scriptures. Please find those scriptures if they exist. Okay. Now, most of the scriptures in Bible are against Quran, and I hope you know what Allah asked our Prophet to be upon him to read them. To cause him, Muhammad, to doubt the clear signs Quran of being clear. Why have Muhammad read them? Quran 1094 says, if you are in doubt about what we, Allah, have handed down, now doesn't it say that? You are going to say it, it's more than that. If so, bring from the Quran or Hadith more, quote, if you're in doubt as to why you uh, 
uh, come to me for my reading the before scriptures, please. Yeah. Here is my proof. Proof of what? That Quran 10 4 is contradicted by later Quran scriptures? Sahih Bakari, volume 9, book 93, hadith number 614. You're quoting from Bakari. I take it you aren't a Qurani, Quran only Muslim, true? You do, you do believe in the hadith, after all, true? Never at the by Ubaidah bin Abdullah, Abdullah bin Abbas said, "Cut! Oh, the groups, the group of Muslims. How can you ask the people of the scriptures about anything while your book, which Allah has revealed to your prophet, contains the most recent news from Allah and is pure and not distorted?" Because of Quran 10, 1094? Don't tell me. The Hadith does trump what the Quran says after all, true? Allah has told you that has, Allah has told you that the people of the scriptures have changed some of Allah's books and distorted it and wrote something with their own hands and said this is from Allah so as to have a minor minor gain for it. And all is told you in Quran 10.94 to go to those who have been reading the Before Scriptures Bible. So what are we to believe? Quran 10.94 or what the Hadith says? Does Bakari Hadith trump the Quran? Won't the knowledge that has come to you stop you from asking them? How? If the Quran actually trumps the Hadith. And Quran 10.94 is to be followed over what the Hadith says. No, by Allah. We have, be, we have never... We have never seen a man from them asking you about that the which has been revealed to you. Well, you're seeing a man, me, me asking about the Al Quran now, aren't you? Ha ha ha! All your statements are seriously stupid. I swear by Allah, you will never win because Quran is the truth and Hadith. <coughs> what do you mean the Quran is the truth and Hadith? Again, what do you mean the Quran is the truth and Hadith? Do you believe in Quran 1094 or do you believe the Hadith? You are making me look stupid, but still you but still need to explain that enough to you. What? Allah has sent the complete Quran in 23 ayat and Allah ha ha revealed the quotes at the time needed in those 23 years. Some could take that Muhammad, that is Muhammad, is saying things up. The that could be making things up that suit his desires at hand, and saying they are from a divine source. This Quran ten and the four quat was revealed before and other quat quat, in which Allah explains why not to read your Bible and Torah. So Quran ten and four should no longer be followed due to what the Hadith says. So the Hadith does cancel out the Quran. It does trump what the Quran says. Unto this, which says no need to read them, no need to read them, yet you do. And they trump Quran 1094. Can you get why they don't match? Because Islam is self contradictory? Please, I need your answer only for this question, please. Well, again, because Islam is contradictory. Well, again, because Islam is contradictory or not. You are the first Muslim I know of that seems to also believe the Hadith trumps a Quran scripture, which I'm talking about 1094 here. When does ignorant people like you who heard of our Prophet peace upon him? Because they did not want people to follow him. So they started to change their scriptures. So that's why Allah and our Prophet peace upon him prohibit us from reading them. If so, let's see how much time is left here. Oh, that's the last time. Yeah. All right. If so, then you admit that Quran 1094 should really no longer be followed and obeyed. True. Also, you should no longer follow and obey Quran 4, uh, Quran 4, 136, 150, 151, 152, 2, 285, and 40, 70 through 72 also, right? For Quran 4, 
136, 150, 151, 152, 285, and 40, 70, 72 tell you, a Muslim, to believe in all the books of Allah and to make no distinction between all his books. Do, do they not? Thus, it's not just Quran 1094, 1094. You have to reject also, don't you think? Uh, and at that time, there were also lots of good Christian angels who did start to believe a prophet peace be upon him because they didn't want their throats cut. For example, Abdullah bin Salam and others didn't want his heads hard off. The meaning behind this quote, what, uh, quote was that these people who read the scriptures before and, be and believed a prophet peace be upon him. So why not you, O oh, Muhammad, peace be upon him, ask them why they believed you. Ask them why they believed you. Because they thought embryos were truly were blood clots for 40 days, like Muhammad said, according to Sahih, authentic hadith at that time. Because they believed Muhammad was right that the sun, when it sets, not only prostrates under Allah's throne, but then seeks, asks permission to rise again, like Muhammad said. Because they didn't know that at that time the earth wasn't flat and that the sun didn't orbit the earth. Is, is that why they might have believed in Islam? at that time, along with the fact that they didn't want to pay jizzy attacks or have their heads removed after sacred months? C could that have been why they believed? This means that this is the book of truth, because it says it's the book of truth. If I said I was a book of truth, would you believe me because I said I was a book of truth? The prophet, peace be upon them, never searched for any evidence, because he, of course, believed that everything revealed to him was the word of Allah. If so, then why did it take Khadija and others to tell him he wasn't being possessed after being squeezed to near death in a cave every time he said he couldn't read? If so, then why is there Quran 1094? Caesar, that's fine here. I'd better stop it here. But.